I just realized that my mic has not been on and I have been unboxing this. So let me start from the beginning. Luckily, I didn't do but a few things. First of all is this little skirt. This I did not realize, but it is from Nana's. It's like a co-op type thing. And when I bought it, I just thought it was Express. So that will be interesting to see how this fits. And I just thought it was pretty cool and kind of festive. The fact that it's kind of wide right here makes me think it's gonna like hang on my hips nicely. Let's hope. The next thing I got is this little top, the little crisscross, which I think is so flattering on most every woman, no matter their bust size, your shape. I think it's a universally flattering shape here. And what I'm really excited about, and you'll see in the next couple of pieces, is there's this photo of this woman. It's just street style. It's off of Pinterest. And I've always loved it. And she's got on kind of a natural outfit that's like this, like a little comfort set with a black moto jacket. And I think it just looks so cool. So we're gonna try to recreate that look with this. And then I also got this little top that matches it. See how it's just a really, really soft little ribbed knit. This one does have a bit of a drop shoulder and I love how the arm is still fitted and then it ties at the waist. So if the wraparound isn't your thing, we'll see which one looks better. Here are the pants that go with it. It looks like I got size small. Doesn't say what kind they are but they look like they're gonna be just kind of like a wide leg, just what I would want to go with that outfit. I think that is gonna be really cool. And I don't know if I've said this already, but Express has been having big, big sales. So I think a lot of this is gonna be on sale. This is interesting. This is a skirt and it's very similar to the one in my Aritzia unboxing. If you haven't seen that, I'll put the thumbnail up here. And it's just a straight, pencil skirt and it does have the good slit in the back, but you may want something that's a little bit more casual. I think it's kind of appealing that it just slips on and it's not so structured. Gosh, I think it's gonna be almost like a maxi. It'll probably be almost to my ankles. Something silver, something metallic. I mean, it's on trend. That's why it's at every website, even J. Crew, Ralph Lauren, anywhere, you're gonna see the metallics. That is cool. <laughs> It's blinding. You can see it's just very thin, no hem or anything. Let's see, it was $80. I don't think I paid $80 because I had one of those little discount type things, but we will try it right off hand. I'm thinking with a sweatshirt, tights and boots, something like that, I would probably go more casual or with a white button up shirt, something like that. Now we have some jeans. This is the straight ankle high rise. So far so good. I love the wash. Good old medium to light worn wash. And you know, I love this undone hem. Express has good jeans. What'll make or break this to me is how high this goes. A little accessory here, but I got this, ooh, for walking to keep my ears warm. Look, bro. Yeah. <laughs> I've got my daughter Brooke here helping me. I don't know if you noticed, she's hanging stuff up for me. They feel good and I think they're cute. You like them? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. I need some roller blades or something. Mm -hmm. Honestly, even as cold as it's just in the 60s, when I walk, you know, I can tell that I'm gonna need something on my ears. So I grabbed these. This is what started it all. I don't know if you guys got the same little flyer that I did, but there was a girl on the front and she had this sweater on and she was looking all cool and looking good. And it just, I kept looking at it and looking at it and thinking, I want that sweater. So then it started this. Does anybody remember how popular Express was in the 90s for their shaker knit sweaters? the deep V ones that you wore in all different colors. That's what it reminds me of. Very similar, love it. Feels good too, it's got a good weight to it. It doesn't feel real acrylic-y. It might be acrylic, but it doesn't feel like it. I got the medium and let's see what it's made of. Yeah, 71% cotton, 15 rayon, eight polyester and six nylon. That's actually a great blend because it should be pretty breathable because the fact that it's mostly cotton, but it shouldn't fade and it should wash and dry pretty well. So I think that is pretty fabulous. I think we're gonna love that. Another little accessory here. What did I get? I got some socks, cozy socks in black. Let's see, I know, I know I'm gonna like these. Now the thing will be, how do they compare to my barefoot dreams? I don't know, they feel pretty good. What I like about them, of course, besides being black, is I like that they're not too long. 
I really like the ones that are a little bit shorter. Tis the season for self-tanner. I haven't done it yet, but I'm getting mentally prepared. I am going to have to forego my white towels and white sheets, I think, for a little while because that's something that really bothers me when I use self-tanner. So I think we're going to try some dark stuff. Got some lavender in here. Ooh, Brooke, this looks like something you would like. So it's a lavender sweatshirt, but it's almost like that corset design that comes up and it's just got a slight V U-neck. <laughs> And I got this small. I really like that. That's gonna look good with black leggings, black sweatpants. This would be something good you can exercise in and you still look good. It's still such a pretty color. Another thing I just noticed was that sleeve. That is going to really make it pretty. And even though it's a sweatshirt, it's gonna make it a little bit elevated. So between that and this, I think this is gonna be really pretty. It looks like a good basic here. Do you call these like fisherman sweaters? I'm not sure, but a good basic cream colored sweater. I got the small. Now this one doesn't feel as cottony as that last one. This one is 50 recycled polyester. That must be like the thing now. And it is a little bit softer, 25 acrylic, 25 polyester. So this is going to be your full on polyester. Now, if you live in a cold, cold climate, you probably don't mind. But if you're really picky, this is not going to be as breathable as the cotton blend in that striped sweater. Look at this. Oh, I love this. Okay, this is a little thin little knit. This is giving me Kate Moss Bardo vibes. Oh, I know I'm going to like this. This with your faux leather pants, your faux leather skirt, your black denim, this with anything. This with a pair of red trousers. I love it. Now this is kind of dressy feeling. It almost feels hosiery almost. Okay, 48 polyester, rayon, nylon, and spandex. This is going to have a really pretty drape too. It's going to have like a dressy look to it and a great, great layering piece. I hope I didn't do what I think I did. I think I have bought the same thing twice. You do that. I know. I, she said I do that every time. I do. I think it's because, you know, I'll shop a little bit and then I'll get busy and have to come back and then I like it again and I put it in there. So I'm not even going to take this out. I will return that. Okay. One box down. Let's see a zipper. This is a little velour hoodie. I like the color. It's kind of like that lavender haze, more of a gray lavender. That is really pretty. We'll see how it fits. I got the small and it does have a hood, so we'll see. This looks good no matter what it is and it, ooh, yeah. Okay, this is something similar to one of the sweaters I showed you guys from Revolve. And it's just that look, it takes me back to my junior high, which would be seventh, eighth, and ninth grade. I used to love sweaters like this. Like the shape to them like this with the puff sleeves. Oh my goodness, and look at that. I hope my arm fits in there. But it feels really soft. Rayon, polyester, and nylon. But yeah, it feels really soft and pretty. Let's see. It's definitely some pants. Oh, these are cute. So they're like little cargo joggers, but they're nicer. They're nicer than the typical. I really like these. They're really a nice heavyweight fabric. You can tell because they're not wrinkled, even though they've been folded in here for so long. Those are really cute. So this bottom is going to really feature your shoes. So you could use it with sneakers, of course, or even a heel or boots. You could have fun with it. These are gonna be good to play with. Okay, a pair of wide leg, high rise, the stylist. Because I wanted to try not only the jeans, but some of the pants, because some of my favorite trousers and pull-on pants for years, I mean, gosh, from my 20s, 30s, 40s on up have been some of the little pants from Express. These aren't quite as dressy, but I do like the color is this dark gray and look how it has that cool wide cuff on the end. These are gonna look really good with heels, like a sweater or a bodysuit or even a white t-shirt. Yeah, I like those. I did get the six in these. Oh, I know why, because a lot of times in the trousers, I like to go up to the six so that they hang on my hips a little bit more. This reminds me of a dress 
that I have. Very interesting. It's gonna go not off the shoulder, but it's gonna be just different. I do love the color. It would look really good with black. It would also look good with ivory or red, navy blue. This would look good with anything. 50 recycled polyester, polyester and acrylic. And it does have a little bit of a cinched in waist. I think this is gonna be pretty. <laughs> Something else in gray. Oh, this looks nice. Caution, jewelry and other sharp objects may damage this. Okay, this is a little bit of a higher quality look. That is really pretty. It's got the gold zipper and I got size medium. It was 98. It won't be, I'm sure I didn't pay that much for it. This is really nice looking. It looks like it might have some like alpaca or something in it. 59 recycled polyester, 21 nylon, 11 polyester, 8% wool and 1% spandex. So that's what's giving it that look, but it looks like even nicer quality fabric than that. And like I always say, if something's itchy or it's just terrible quality, I will put a note beside it. I will keep you from buying it, hopefully. Yeah, another pair of jeans. You know, my hope is to always get, you know, like one good pair of jeans out of these Hauls and maybe a good pair of pants, you know, a couple of really good things. We can try a lot of different things. Okay, these are the size six straight ankle high rise. They look short and they have this kind of hem. These are interesting. I will say right off the bat, they look a little weird, but they might look good on. What do you think? Why do you say they look weird? They look kind of big, but I know you like stuff big, so. Yeah, maybe they'll be kind of a boyfriend fit. Okay, this is a bit of a mystery. I thought it was actually just paper. This is, oh gosh. Okay, remember the red vest like this in my mango unboxing. This is very similar to that, but I must have gotten a medium. It looks a little big, so we'll see. I'll at least try it on for you, no matter what. It's like a halter. Goes across the back like that. This is a cool piece. It would be fun to wear just with denim to a Christmas party or something. Oh, this looks good and interesting here. Something kind of sporty. Oh, I like these. Some little pants, but with the red stripe down the side. And they're not gathered at the bottom. Those will be interesting. We'll have to see how sporty they are. I will say they're very, very, yeah, 98% polyester, 2% spandex. They're kind of, they're not the softest, but these suckers will never fade or never shrink, that's for sure. Okay, and then I must have really liked them because I got the same pants in the black and white. I think they're the same ones. I don't know, these, the bottom looks a little wider. I don't know, they might be the same ones, but right off the bat, I really do like these a lot. They're almost like a sporty tuxedo pant or something like that. I just looked, these aren't the same. These don't have the tie right here, so these are gonna be a different fit. Okay, another pair of jeans. We're gonna try until we get some good ones. I do like the color of these. Are these the same ones, just in a different color? I think what I did is I got the four and the six because sometimes I feel bad when I order the wrong size and then I can't show you what something really looks like. So a lot of times I'm trying to get two different sizes so that I can tell you. So I think that's what I did here. I did, because guess what else I got? I got this in the small. So I'll be able to try the small and the medium to tell you. Okay, that makes sense because sometimes a small won't fit well through here. And with this, you're not gonna be wearing anything under it, but maybe a strapless bra. So that's good. I'll be able to try this in both sizes so we will know. Okay, I figured I must have gotten the bottoms to that gray sweatshirt. Looks like they're joggers. Oh, I love that there isn't a tie right here too. The only thing is this runs the risk of Golden Girls or Giant Bunny Rabbit or three-year-old. <laughs> so we will see how this looks together and make sure, especially with it being a pastel, we'll see. Brooke said it gives, almost gives a little bit of Mean Girls vibe. <laughs> What is this? 
This is a hoodie dress that has that cool front that's almost like that corset style, but it's like a sweatshirt dress. I bet this will look good with boots. And it feels really, really, really good. Like really stretchy and bouncy. Let's see. 65 rayon, 27 polyester, 8% spandex. So this is going to be, yeah, something really comfortable to wear. This feels like something good. This feels like some good trousers. Wide leg, high rise, the stylist in a six. These are going to be good. I can just almost guarantee you, bet money on it, that I am going to love these. They just feel good. They look like, wow, I like too that they have like the pleats like that. So if you're someone that doesn't like a real pleated pant, you're gonna like these. It's not gonna add bulk because see how they're kind of like inverted pleats right here. But I will say that they're, not thick. They're, I wouldn't say they're too thin, but they're definitely not thick. I can tell you right now, this with those pants, that's probably going to be my favorite thing. I love this. And I did the same thing with this. I got the small, no, that's the medium. And this is the small. I'm thinking... I'm probably going to like the small in this because I don't think this is something you want oversized. So I will probably have to return the medium. Oh, I love that. Okay, this is interesting. It's like a little, I would say a crop top, but it looks like it would probably go right to the top of a pair of like high-waisted jeans or like those black pants and it has like the boning in it. So it's kind of like that corset style. It looks, let's see, I got a medium and it looks like I would probably need a medium in this because I'm sure I could wear a small, but it might be too smushy. So we shall see. So that was it. I hope that you saw something that you like and let me know down below which piece was your favorite and which place or website you would like for me to do the next $2,500 unboxing. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next one.